I want to thank you for coming to uh, view our uh, video today on the different foam options you can do with vinyl siding. So we're going to give you an overview of all the different things, uh, the way you can put insulation behind vinyl. Let's start off with one of the most popular one, and that is actually buying the product with the foam glued in. Eric here shows you a couple profiles. He's showing you the single seven. The foam is already glued to the back of these panels. And he's also going to show you that it comes in a double six. These are probably the two most uh, popular shapes. And you can see the foam's glued. It's very easy to install. Again, you know, Plygem has several brands with different other profiles, like double four and Dutch lap profiles also. You also want to know that you get a great, this is the best way to get great R value because with these profiles, you get anywhere between two and a half R to three R with these profiles. Now we're going to talk about the next option. That is a drop-in foam backer. And Eric has one of these pieces here. These are very common in the industry. You can see how big they are. These are convenient because they drop in as you install the panel. You can see they're contoured to the different shapes. You can get it with any profile at all, the ply gem siding. These install with the panels during the job. So again, these come in 32 inches about by 48 wide, and you actually install them as you're putting the siding up. So again, we'll just show you how the panel goes up on top of this. So as you're installing your vinyl, you just drop your piece in. And then you install your vinyl and just keep going up the wall. And then as you get higher, you keep uh, popping in more pieces of these 48 inch wide panels. So that's a great option. You can do it on the job. Uh, you got to be careful with the wind, but they're easy to install and they give you a nice R value. So again, let's talk about the next option. The last option, you can get a great R value and a lot of sound deadening with all three of these. Uh, R and sound deadening are two big advantages of styrene behind vinyl. Let's talk about the sheet options. There's a couple different ways you can do this. These sheets come in. The first one is a fan fold. We're going to go show the fan fold first. Fan fold is a um, product that um, you can get standard, and it comes in quarter inch thick, and it comes in pieces two by four sections, but it fans out. So Eric's going to show you how this does. It's connected together. And it does fan out and it goes on the wall. And you install both of these sheet and the fan fold before you put the vinyl up. And it works very well. So there'll be a lot more section here. And they come two foot by four foot. And they do have 200 square feet in each packet. So these are very easy to put up. You can wrap it around the wall. Gives you about an a R of one. And you tape the seams. It's already up on this wall what we're working on here. So again, the other option with sheet products is actual four by eight sheets. So Eric's going to show you a couple. There's many options. He's showing you these again come in four by eight. He's showing you a quarter inch there. He also has a five eighths inch to show you. These are usually white and they have the same R value as the other styrene sheets. And again, you would put these up before you put your siding. You tack them onto the wall and then you install your siding right to it. The disadvantage of sheets is it doesn't contour to the foam. So you don't get that solid feel that you get with the drop in and the glue in option. So again, a lot of different options, big benefits sound deadening, R-value, firm feel to the product. Uh, again, we want to thank you for watching this video and uh, check the site to see other videos made by Plygem on vinyl siding.